Have you ever wondered why your coffee stays warm or your iced drink stays cold during a long drive? You're not alone. It might seem like magic, but there's actually some neat science and smart engineering behind it. Today, we're diving into the surprisingly cool and sometimes hot world of car cup holders and how they manage to keep our drinks at just the right temperature. Let's break down how these cup holders work, what makes them special, and why they're becoming more common in modern cars. Right here on History of Simple Things. At first glance, a cup holder might seem like a simple spot to rest your coffee or soda. But some car cup holders today are more than just a plastic circle. They're little temperature controlling gadgets working behind the scenes. Cup holders have been around since the 1950s, but back then they were basic trays or wire frames clipped onto windows. It wasn't until the late 80s and 90s that built-in cup holders became a standard part of car interiors. These early versions were purely functional. They held your drink, and that was it. No heating, no cooling, just holding. Fast forward to today's world of convenience and comfort, and we now have cup holders that can do a lot more than just hold your latte. Some of them are equipped with technology that helps maintain the temperature of your beverage, either keeping it hot or cold while you're on the go. So how do they actually do that? The key to temperature regulating cup holders is something called thermoelectric cooling and heating. It's a fascinating bit of science made possible through what's called the Peltier effect. Here's the basic idea. A thermoelectric module is placed at the base of the cup holder. When electric current flows through it, one side of the module becomes hot while the other side becomes cold. This allows the system to either absorb heat from your drink to cool it down or push heat into your drink to warm it up, depending on the setting. It's the same kind of technology used in portable mini fridges or personal coolers. The Peltier device doesn't have any moving parts, which means it's quiet, efficient, and small enough to fit inside a car's center console. Let's say you've got a fresh cup of coffee and you're heading out on a cold morning. If your car is equipped with a heated cup holder, turning it on will activate the thermoelectric module in heating mode. This sends heat into the base of the cup holder, which then radiates upward into your cup. Now, it's not going to be as powerful as a microwave or a stovetop, but it's strong enough to maintain the warmth of your drink for a longer period. Instead of your coffee turning lukewarm in 15 minutes, it might stay pleasantly hot for 30 minutes or more. That's enough to get through a decent portion of your commute without a disappointing sip. Some systems also include a metal ring or plate at the bottom of the holder that gets warm and conducts heat directly into metal or ceramic cups, which are better at transferring heat than plastic. On the flip side, imagine it's a hot summer day and you've just picked up an iced tea or soda. Without any cooling, that ice is going to melt fast. But when you activate the cooling mode, the Peltier module reverses its function, this time absorbing heat from the cup and pulling it away. The base of the cup holder gets cold, and if it's lined with a metallic or conductive surface, it helps transfer that cold up into the drink container. Some even have small internal fans to help circulate the cool air around the cup. Again, this isn't going to compete with a refrigerator, but it's enough to help your drink stay cold longer than it normally would in a standard cup holder. Well, that depends. Cup holders with heating and cooling features work best with cups that conduct heat well. That means metal, thin plastic, or ceramic containers will feel the effects more than insulated tumblers or thick-walled bottles. In fact, Many vacuum-sealed containers are designed to resist temperature changes, so the cup holder's efforts might not have much effect. 
But if you're using a regular to-go cup or a basic bottle, you'll likely notice the temperature retention more clearly. You might be wondering, where does the power come from? These cup holders are usually powered by your car's electrical system, much like your stereo or AC. The heating or cooling function is typically controlled by a button or a dial, often located near the cup holder or on the center console. Some vehicles even allow you to adjust the temperature range, like setting it to warm versus hot or cool versus cold. And of course, newer models come with automatic sensors that detect whether you've placed a hot or cold beverage and adjust accordingly. Pretty clever, right? You'll most often find temperature-controlled cup holders in luxury or high-end models. Brands like BMW, Mercedes-Benz, Audi, and Lexus. But the tech is slowly trickling down into mid-range models as well. As the components become cheaper and more compact, it's likely we'll see more cars offering this feature as a standard or optional upgrade. There are also aftermarket cup holders you can buy that plug into your car's cigarette lighter or USB port. These portable devices can either warm or cool your drink, and they fit into your existing cup holder slot. They may not be as efficient as the built-in systems, but they're a great alternative if your car doesn't have the feature already. These portable cup holders are especially useful for long drives or outdoor adventures, where access to cafes or coolers is limited. Some models are even designed for use outside the car, like at a campsite or picnic, since they can also plug into portable power stations or battery packs. That makes them great for keeping your drink just the way you like it, whether you're on the road or relaxing under the stars. We're moving toward a future where every little detail in the car is tuned for comfort, and cup holders are just one small but delightful part of that evolution. So the next time you're sipping your perfectly warm coffee or enjoying a chilled soda on a long drive, remember, there's actually a bit of science and tech quietly working to make that moment a little better. It's not just a cup holder, it's a mini temperature station built right into your car. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.